Hi guys, Todd here. Tonight we're going to be having a look at the new Squape X Dripper. Uh, right, for those of you that use the Squape X already, and it is various guises, um, you'll know, I mean that's nano, um, and the thing about the Squape RTA is that it's got those three lugs at the bottom, so you can kind of like push down and click to the central position where you can take the tank right off, push down, click again, and that eventually, you know, it locks everything down for you. So that's great. Um, what they now have is with this dripper, you can buy it in two different guises, if you like. It's about £70 for the convertible mode. Uh, and with the convertible mode, what you basically get is the ability to take an RTA. Let's just push down and I'll just come to daddy. Take the tank off. So that's the tank off from my RTA. Take this, which is a top cap, and just put it over my existing RTA deck, push down, click, and that's me. Just as simple as that. I've got that airflow open far too much. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll just close it down. That's better, and you can you can close this right down. You can run it in dual coil, single mode, single coil mode, and it, you've got masses of air, or just take it down to a kind of restrict 1.6, if I remember correctly, is the the minimum single coil draw you will have. So that's about seventy pounds just for the convertible mode, or you can buy it in full on just a separate dripper. You get the deck with it, you get everything with it, and you just it's just a dripper. But once again, you've got the the base is the three lug. It's the setup that you've seen on the Squape X. Uh, and I just pop it down there. This is what I've been running for four days now. And I'm being totally honest here. This is released tomorrow, uh, the 28th of March. Um, you'll be able to get it from various places in the UK. You can get it from Creme de Vape. I was about to call it Cloud9. Um, and it's £100 for the full-on dripper. I'm, I'm running this and for the past couple of days I've been running it like this. Uh, 0 0.3 ohm build, uh, dual coil, 45 watts. You can go really cloudy with it. But as I said, you can close it right down. I have to be totally open here. This is... A only had this for four days okay I've been vaping with it every single day since I've had it uh, there will be other reviews out and um, what I wanted to do here was just to do a bit of show and tell with it I know Chris has done uh, his presentation and so on but I wanted to give you just some feedback after yeah a plonker and a shed let you know how he's been getting on with it and what I found out but close-ups now this is the box that I got um, and yeah it's got this bloody annoying thing on it here but uh, here we go everything that you need to see this is the full setup so this is the hundred pound one more branding going on there inside it did come with uh, a little flathead screwdriver like that which is just a perfect fit for the terminal screws spare o-rings an allen key couple of grub screws in there if you want to change it over to the grub screws you can do Squape sticker and a manual. Now it does come with this on the top. Uh, this is the, the the standard drip tip, if you like. Uh, I think they're calling it the the Squip Tip XDR or something like that, or just the Squip Tip. Um, it's not for me. Uh, I think it's bloody ugly, and, and and I don't like it. It's as simple as that. Uh, what it does do is you'll see in here that it does have a, a little O ring in there. So basically that just goes over the top of there and clips down. So you can vape it just like that. You can also put a 510 drip tip straight onto that as well, but it just makes it all the bigger. And I'm sorry, but I've that's a personal taste thing, but I just think it's hideous myself. I also do find it a total pain in the arse to get off. I can't get it off by hand. I do have to take a little blade, just get it under there, and it just then it'll lift up and pop off. Uh, that, but as always, I'm just being honest, I cannot get that off without some kind of cloth on it or levering it off. But, but there you go, that's the, the Squip Tip 
XDR. Should point out the bore on this is 8.5 millimeters on this here. For me, this I think this is far better. It just looks a lot better, in my opinion. Uh, I'll take any standard 510 drip tip. It just sits on there like so, anyone you like, and and I think it looks better for it. But once again, that's just personal taste. Um, you've got the cooling fins at the top here. Uh, we do have these indentations going around here. We've got the Squabe logo. We have the fully adjustable airflow that you can just spin round. And just keep spinning that round. There we go. And so you've got masses and masses of air going into those dual coils there. I mean, just roughly, I mean, that works at about 4mm by 9mm uh, to me, and uh, yeah, that's, you can breathe, you can go snorkeling with this, uh, there's that much air. However, uh, you can close it down and you can have a tight draw, a tightish draw. Uh, you can take it round, if you're going to run this in single coil mode, you do have these two little air holes here. These are 1.6mm, or you've got a 2mm option there as well. Instead of the three-way system that you have in your normal scrape, this is just a two, so just now the top cap's not going anywhere, it's locked on there. If I just push down, twist, blink, and off she comes. So you've still got those lugs going on there. Sorry, the lugs are on the deck, my apologies. Uh, but, you know, they just locate in these holes here. So once again, just pop that on, a little push down, twist, and that's your top cap in place, it's not going anywhere at all. Push down a little twist and off she comes. And just to let you see in there, you can see it's domed. Now remember, this is quite tall, this section here, so your coils do sit quite high up. And you can see that the coils are sitting right behind the air hole here, so coils are actually quite close to your mouth. Right, I'm just taking the cotton out of these uh, coils because, uh, like I said, I've been running them for four days and they're kind of dirty. Uh, so I'm just going to give them a, a little clean up here. And this is my first chance to use my little coil master brush here. Yes, product placement. It's awesome! Now, these are quite big chunky coils that I've got in here. But it, th there's nothing, if you know the scrape, then you will, you know what you're getting here. Um, it just does the job uh, quite well. It's quite. It's a very, very simple setup. Now I make, you know, it, just inside here. It, it's going to be about three mil deep in the centre here. This little well, and yeah, it's just like a, almost like a, a standard scrape deck, uh, except this is you know flat all the way round. There's no wicking holes in here as you would normally see with the RTA, and this little deck does come with the convertible set. One thing I do want to point out that uh, this o-ring round here, now that is not to stop things leaking. That o-ring round there is for the locking mechanism of the device. Um, if you over drip and you drip over the level of here, then juice will come down the side and it will leak. And by leak, I mean it will leak the same way as any other RDA out there. And that's why I want to make this clear. If your juice goes over here, it's going to leak. Um, this is just for the locking mechanism. It's not to, you know, prevent spillage or anything like that. You'll have a serial number in the bottom and you'll have your 510 pin here. And unless I'm sadly mistaken, yeah, I'm pretty sure that that is adjustable as well. Now, don't be laughing at my dirty coils, but, you know, here's a standard scrape base. You know, you see you've got your wicking holes, your four wicking holes going around the top there. And these bits going on here. Well, you don't have that on the this, the base for the RDA, but this will work perfectly well with the convertible. As far as cotton goes, I mean, I'm just doing my usual. I just cut the cotton to the, the side of the actual tank um, and just fold it down into the, the juice well. And she goes, as long as it's making contact with the base, it's quite happy. I've actually found when I first got it, uh, the temptation was to stuff the cotton in here because it was such a deep base. Uh, but that I've just found that I actually prefer doing it like this now. I just find it works better if you've got that big gully in there, you know, no cotton getting in the way around there. And as always, you know, I tend to have, uh, you know, space underneath the coil so the air can get underneath it and all round about it. And once again, you know, you've got the screwdriver, so you can use these little terminal screws here, or you can change it out for the grub screws. And yeah, I've had no issues with uh, the way this wicks or performs at all. 
and then just pop this on and that's it, it clicks into place and you're good to go. Right, one summary. This is the, the fourth time I've recorded this summary. I will make this as short and concise and as sweet as possible. Uh, right, for me, this dripper. £100 dripper. Um, or £70 as a convertible, which is basically just the the deck, the, the top section of the deck, and um, you know the actual top cap. So that's what you get. It's built extremely well. There's no doubt about that. It's built extremely well. The presentation is top notch. It's Staquam. Customer support. Everything is, is is ten out of ten. It's as good as it gets. That's it. How does it perform? Right for me, um, this thing. Uh, yes. Well, you know how I feel about that. Now. Um, I will tell you that I can actually vape this. I'm just putting more liquid in it. Um, I can vape this with a standard stainless steel drip tip on here. Airflow fully open, 0 0.3 dual coil build at 60 watts, which is insane for me. These are alien coils, I think they are. They're three mil inner diameter. Um, and they fit in there no problem at all. I can get plenty of cotton in there and let's just have a vape. Yep. Oh. Even the drip tip is just getting a little bit on the warm side there, but that's a stainless steel drip tip. Um, Unless you are cranking the wattage through the roof, I personally don't see the need for that and I think it just detracts from the look of the device. Now, direct lung, uh, you can direct lung, it's cloudy as hell, uh, but you can tighten it right down. I mean, I can, where I normally run this is like this on both sides, dual coil, uh, and I turn that down to 45 watts. Here we go. So that's a a loose. It's it's a restrict, slightly restricted, direct to lung, uh, and it performs really well in that for me. Now, I have also run this with my my lame ass coils that um, you know nobody vapes with anymore, which is basically using um, twenty seven this. 27 uh, round uh, 2.5 inner diameter or 2.5 rod uh, coming out about the 0 0.8 uh, dual coil build and tightening it down even further than that and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. It's been good. You can single coil it if you want. Um, the 1.6 is a mouth to lung. The 2 mil it's a slightly looser mouth to lung. Uh, it is mouth to lung. There's no dispute in that. Now the issue I had was that those of you that those of you guys that are old time vapors um, that ever used a Genesis, you had to have the air hole slap bang in front of your wick. If it was off slightly, it, you got a harsher hit. Um, that was just one of these things. You always, if somebody had mucked about with your top cap and it was off centre, you got a really harsh hit. Now, because this is body is locked in place, my issue was that uh, you know when you turn the the airflow ring, the the air isn't slap bang in front of the coil. It's coming from the side almost. I was really worried that that was going to affect the way it vapes. It doesn't. It, it just doesn't. Um, you do get what you would expect. It still vapes really well. So that kind of addresses that one. Um, the other thing is that O-ring is not there uh, to stop leaking. If you basically go over the edge there, it will leak. It will leak. I say that in every review for every RDA. If your RDA is leaking, it is simply a case of you've put too much liquid in it. But I just want to clarify that, uh, you know, 
if you see leaking coming out from the bottom here, it's not a fault of the device as such, that O-ring, that O-ring is just there for the locking mechanism, not to stop juice coming out. The flavour on it, as you saw, the coil, your mouth is quite close to the coil and it's got that little dome going in at the top. It's a very good dripper. Um, the flavour is good from it. It's between good and very good. Um, it's not on a scale of 1 to 10, I mean Narda for me is 10, okay? That's as good as it gets, it's my favourite dripper. This is, uh, it's about 7.5, it's not outstanding flavour wise for me, but that's just me. Um, I do find if I crank it up and open the airflow, then I get great flavour from it. I prefer it more as a, a cloudy RDA than a, a really tight draw. I just, I get better flavour from it vaping that way. Damien will have a review coming, a, a proper review. Um, this, once again, this is me just after four days giving you some initial feedback. Uh, you know, Damien can give you a more grounded viewpoint on it and probably knowing Damien the way he vapes, he'll give you more of a, a mouth to lung viewpoint on it. Won't you Damien? Please mate, please. It's not in my humble opinion, it's not cheap. It's not a cheap dripper. And I also I have to say this, it's nothing different. It's nothing... For me, the whole innovation on this thing is purely from the point of view that if you have a Squape RTA, buy the convertible, buy the top cap, and you know, just whap it on there. You've gone from an RTA to a dripper in the blink of an eye, and it's great. I really like that. I like that bit about it. I'll be honest, I wouldn't myself necessarily go out and buy this just as a dripper. Um, th th there's so much gear on the market, there really is. There's so much gear and so much good gear out there. Um, and whilst this is very good, uh, it, I, th I think price point, £100 and all that, it's yeah, just a bit in the expensive side for a two post dripper. Th yeah, that's my viewpoint on it. I do however think, you know, the £70 for the top cap and the little deck, for putting on the, the squat base, I would probably go down that route, me personally. But that's just me at the end of the day. Um, that's it, that's what I've got for you. Uh, that's me the Squape Extra Power four days later. I did get this free to show to you guys. Once again, uh, keep an eye out for other reviews coming out. There'll be proper reviews coming. Not, none of this quick bullshit that I've just given you. Um, but I hope it's helped. Um, I do like it and I've given you my viewpoint. Thank you to Chris for sending this on. Thank you to Chris and all the other guys at StatQuan for sending this on. To you guys, until next time. Catch you later. Bye now.